Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the third episode of Saki Talk Show. Uh, we have a very special guest with us today who has who is very active on social media, a Saki star. And then she has her own YouTube channel. And we all know her for her passion for cooking. Please welcome Valerie with us. Hello, everyone. Hello, Valerie. Hi. Hi, Pam. Hi. Welcome. So, Valerie, how are you? I'm good. And how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Welcome to Saki Talk Show. We are very pleased to have you in our group. You are such an active member and we love the cooking posts you share with us. Valerie, uh, all our members would like to know, uh, tell us something about yourself, how when all this started, our friends would like to know more about you. Okay, I am Valerie uh, Rodericks. I'm from Goa, the beautiful Goa. Uh, but born uh, born in Mumbai, but uh, then we shifted to Goa. And uh, 21 years self-employed in a travel agency. And cooking is my passion. And singing is also my passion and hobby. Wow, that's awesome. You are doing a lot of things, multiple <laughs> things. I mean, cooking, travel, blogging, that's really awesome. So Valerie, you, I know that you have a YouTube channel and you're uh, managing some Facebook groups as well. So how, does, how did this idea come to your mind to start, a, start your own channel for cooking related things? Uh, regarding cooking, I will say it was uh, during the lockdown. Like uh, in my travel business, I was very busy for around 21 years. So there was no time for my cooking. Actually, my profession first was cooking. But then I didn't have much time because I shifted from cooking to travel. I was in, I'm enjoying that job too. And then when the lockdown came, uh, I used to give some cooking classes also along with my travels to my uh, UK clients because they want, when they come to Goa, they want to learn the basic cooking like dal, tadka, rice and all that. So I used to give them that cooking classes every uh, twice a week. So when the lockdown came, everything was stopped and there were few uh, English people were stuck in Goa. So they didn't know how to survive because mostly they used to go out uh, to eat in hotels and everything was shut down and everything was there. So that time they messaged me saying, could you teach us some basic like online, like some dal, some rice and how to do quick dishes and all that. So that's how I said, let's, because see, when you do uh, videos, the bigger, longer videos, you can't share it to them. It has to be on YouTube and that link you can share. So that's how I started this YouTube for cooking, thinking of them actually. <laughs> so yeah. That's uh, really a very interesting story. I mean, how all it started. I know this lockdown has changed lives for a lot of people and new areas they have explored, but that's really interesting story. Uh, so, Valerie, like, who is the person, uh, who is the inspiration behind your passion for cooking? Uh, my late grandmother. She was a chef in those days, maybe in the year 1946. Oh. She was a chef. And uh, she used to uh, cook uh, in the priest homes. Like, in Goa, there are lots of uh, priests. So, she used to go there. And she used to cook around five to six dishes at a time, like one at a time. And then those days, no gas, but all the chulas. So six uh -huh. chulas, she used to have fire wala chulas and she used to keep all that. So looking at her and then she, at the, at the age of eight, she said, you are a girl and you should know the basic. Please follow me in the kitchen. And she was the one who should teach me the basic things and how cooking is a part of every woman, whether it is a hi-fi girl, I will say, or normal girl or middle class, one should know the basic cooking. I agree. I agree. Because we need food to survive and yeah. it doesn't matter whether you are a, a man or a woman, you should know the basic cooking. That's very that. important. 
and uh, i also sometimes believe that uh, cooking is a god gift art also because if you give the same recipe to multiple people the taste does matter so uh, that's really nice that uh, you have that in your family and it's passed on from your grandma and yeah. those days they really manage so many things so many items for so many people so many and we can see that in your thalis you have so many dishes in one <laughs> and i'm like oh my god we prepare two dishes and we are like done and but you have fish you have salad you have sabjis dal dessert and you also come out with innovative ideas uh, healthy versions that's really commendable thank you thank you so much yeah <laughs> and other than this like uh, i know you are into travel blogging and all what what would you like to share what all your hobbies are hobby is dancing wow exercise like my dad was a uh, my dad uh, is like he is more in exercises things like he was a cycler he cycled from mumbai to pune in his in his days and uh, he is a baseball player too and he taught me uh, how to uh, use broom like like he used to say if you do the grooming of the house you will do half part of your exercise by sitting by standing so that's yeah. how and then he gave me some tips how to do exercise and be fit my mother yeah. is just opposite my but my father is full into that and that came to me so i see that i every day i play badminton or i go for walking or i do some uh, 15 minutes uh, workouts so that's really awesome that you have got the best of your parents and grandparents you know <laughs> my mom Because is opposite my mom doesn't like <laughs> you know, right. you have got the best of your grandmom you have got the best of your dad and for us it's opposite i have got the laziness eating habits whatever is not right that is all passed on so it's really amazing and uh, i that's an interesting story about a cycling what you said by to put the cycling awesome uh, uh, valerie i have also heard that you are into music and singing so would you like to sing a song for us yeah sure i will do that for you yeah it's a song actually which was in lockdown i think so many 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 people heard this song the blessing and it worked for us all the blessing of our creator so for me this lockdown was a real blessing and this song touched me because uh, 20 years pam i was in travel and i could not give that much time for my daughter actually i i miss those days if i had to give more time for her maybe but then you can't get everything so but this lockdown me and my daughter came so close because the travel business was shut down there was nothing no work nothing just me she we all uh, like playing and spending time singing praying together and it's a blessing so i would like to sing that song to you all and hope this blessing pass to you all whoever listen to this thank you
in the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing, is for you, 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 is for you. speechless i'm absolutely mesmerized by your voice the song so beautiful you have a Thank lovely you. voice and it sounds so good i was actually i mean i it took me to some other world you know it gave so much of peace listening to that song awesome awesome thank you thank you so much yeah. i'm sure all the people who are watching this will love this this song i mean multi talented person really <laughs> we are so proud to have you and uh, every time you mention goa i'm i'm actually so jealous like you are staying in such a wonderful place so and you have you have been blogging about your travel diaries also so if i want to visit goa what are the places i must visit and what are the food items i must try about the places uh, first of all all the beaches you should cover the north and the south okay yes. it's like total different the belt is totally different so north which is there are like from kalangut kandolim uh, morjim ashwem uh, keri so it's like one belt then in south like kolwa majorda benauli then uh, then comes that uh, uh, palolim so these are the south and dudsagar waterfall which is famous okay and uh, yeah there is a dud sagar waterfall like throughout the year there is plenty of water many wow. people have died also like oh. they go drunk and it's very deep like there are some deep area but they get drunk and they swim like young uh, youths and all so you have to take care but it's a beautiful place one should visit and then, we have uh, had some movie shootings also that fort uh, some fort fort aguada Port Aguada Lighthouse Bill Jata hai that is in uh, Vagator so okay. there are forts like two three forts in North Goa okay. so that you all have to visit and a houseboat which is famous like people used to travel to Kerala earlier days like mm -hmm. my foreign clients when they come to Goa they love this trip now even Indians are loving this trip it's like uh, on a rice boat overnight and they provide you all your meals and uh, uh, like it's like a sailing in the water bird chipping and all that and uh, there is wilderness trip also which is very famous so these are the famous trip which i am doing because i love it so i am passing it to others even my delhi like my outskirt tours in india i don't do international i do only in india because i love india <laughs> i myself have not traveled anywhere out of india till today but hope so let's see coming days i think goa in itself is a mini world you have tourists visiting from all over the world coming to visit yes. goa so when you stay in such a place you don't feel the need that you have beaches summer winter there's so much lively and awesome street food and the christmas season especially is wonderful there the december time so many it's, tourists come here. it's mad <laughs> <laughs> you will not find a foreign tourist in that month you will find only a, a indian tourist oh okay. because foreign tourist they don't like all that crowd and all that thing so they don't come to uh, india so okay. so that is one and the food you should have all goan food like fish thali roast yeah. omelet uh, chicken capriyal yeah. and uh, all fish which is rava fry uh, prawns yeah so
so there is lots of varieties in goan cuisine also and one should try so yeah it's very famous come to goa the then we can all meet up we we'll absolutely love to and all the viewers who are watching this you know if you are to goa who is the person valerie is the person right to reach out she's all there to provide you with the details um uh, moving on uh, valerie is there any something unique compliment you have ever received which is something will stay with you forever i was asking my daughter yesterday what to give so she saying you get uh, the, this uh, unique compliment that like now i am 45 but uh, oh, whoever what? meet whoever meet me they will okay. say i'm in 20 25 so and it is like they will directly say because when they ask me age i don't hide because age is age you can hide so yeah and i think so uh, i will give it this compliment to god actually because when i came into christ that time everything the look and everything is changed actually i don't know it's his glow or something like that so this compliment i get from my clients also and my friends also i say really no i am 45 i say <laughs> you don't look at all i mean uh, i was i mean <laughs> you you said that that's why i came to know but by looking at you you absolutely don't look like that so that's really amazing very beautiful <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. so now we have some uh, rapid fire questions uh, so we'll ask you a simple questions we'll ask you and uh, quick no answer worries. okay so all set uh, what's your uh, favorite ingre- ingredient to cook with something you always prefer using in your cooking all spices like uh, turmeric chili powder and which is very quickly uh, in my cuisine okay uh this is a silly question but uh, i have seen this happening with lot of people do you have a favorite burner on the stove like this is my all time burner people prefer using that burner on stove uh i prefer automatic one like that prestige okay. which is come with the glass uh, earlier it was not there but whenever i had purchased in my other days also like uh, previous days it was automatic only so it's easy just put it on and it's on yes instead of using yes. the lighter yeah true um okay if you were not staying in goa then which place would it be bangalore okay yes that's also a nice choice and um, what is something that you hate in kitchen to spend a uh, lot of time i like my cooking to be done in maybe 30 minutes so i plan in before and i finish everything maximum things in 30 minutes so i'm out of my kitchen oh. so you mean to say that thali is something done in 30 minutes to hour thali thali that thali i had to give one hour but it was like oh my god one hour i have to give one hour i have to give it was like that Oh my god i will take the entire day to prepare <laughs> <laughs> no it's like awesome. if you plan pam if you plan like one day before what exactly you want and if you keep all the things ready it's it's i don't know for me it's like kitchen i say easy so my daughter say it's easy for you not for her yeah. like like when she comes in the kitchen <laughs> yes, yes. you are very organized person who likes to plan out things and keep everything Okay so um what's something that's always available in your refrigerator milk okay <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true um what's something that you would uh, really love to learn ah uh, swimming okay which i don't know <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a strange thing because it is by default expected that a person staying in Goa beaches must know swimming. So that's I don't know swimming. Yes, yeah. so I yeah, that one thing I would like to learn actually. Okay. But uh, what's the most used app in your mobile? If at all you use much Facebook. 
Okay. <laughs> and we, do, do we need to say we have Saki and your groups, your channel? So, obviously. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I had this question, but in my mind, but now that I know your age, I don't, uh, it was something like if you like to freeze yourself to some time period age, what would that be? But you don't look your age, so this question doesn't hold to you. But basically something like, which was the best time phase of your life? 40s. Oh, wow. 40s, I always say that the 40s is a new beginning. Wow. Is like a short example, Moses, he started after 40. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. I mean... Uh, like wine, they say, it gets better as it gets older. Yeah, so, yeah. Truly, I mean, you have most of your achievements now bringing out the results and turning out flying colors. So, really commendable. Uh, okay, so uh, given a chance, uh, if you would like, if you could do something for women empowerment, uh, what would that thing be which you would like to, to, to get an opportunity? Uh, if I like for women, especially like uh, those who have been stuck in their house, I would love to encourage them. Like every woman is unique, and every woman has something spark in their life. So I would uh, love to do something for women and uh, reach out to them and encourage them and. And this platform is very good, actually. That's why I'm trying to add, like I'm trying to send friend, like uh, invitee. And uh, in coming days, I would like to post on my timeline, like if anybody wants, please join uh, Saki Connects. Saki uh, meaning is actually friends. Friend, yes, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's the thing, like... Uh, like I had a friend, like she is a totally housewife for all these years. Okay. I know most of the Indian women are being like the husband is the upper hand and the wife. But today's world is changed. We can walk together. We can reach ahead of men also. If yes. there is will. It's not like it's not like a competition, but we can do it. Like a woman can do many things what men can't do actually. So, yeah. Very nice thoughts, <laughs> really. Um, so, uh, Valerie, uh, one thing we would like to know from you, do you have any suggestions for our group? What are your thoughts, views about our group? Uh, anything you would like to say about that? Mm, as of now, it's going very well. I love this group. So mostly I, when I open my Facebook, I don't, sometimes I don't post also my site. I've got a friends group also, which I am, it's just opened many years and it is stuck for 600, I think so, <laughs> members. I, I just opened it at friends forever, many years back. But then when I found your group, it's so interesting and you make it so interesting. Like you sing and there are so many reels or some, some short videos you do i love to see you and it it like when you come to these groups you laugh you can like even if you're going down it will uplift you like there are some jokes or there is some games like you so first thing i open my facebook i come to your saki wow so you Thank don't you. keep on going i think so that way only and uh, your short short videos then your jokes what you uh, put it, I, I just laugh. Then my daughter and my husband, what? And then I say, okay, I will share it to you all. This is a joke. And they also laugh. So it brings smile to us, actually. Thank you for the compliments. I'm sure the admin panel will love to know the feedback. Uh, that's the motive for the group to make everyone happy, to help women, women supporting women and spread yeah. smile. So, uh, Valerie, we come to the end of our show and uh, all we would like to know is the audience watching you are really inspired, I'm sure, and they would like to reach out to your channels and Facebook groups, YouTube channels. 
So why don't you tell some information like which is the channel, which is the group they should follow and how they can reach out to you? Uh, for me to reach out, if they come to Saki, they will reach out to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but... but uh, uh, Humble, honestly, <laughs> but you can actually call out your channel name and group. Uh, Wells, uh, it's like Wells Quick Tips and Trick uh, YouTube cooking channel. So on YouTube, okay. and I always share on yours also. And every Tuesday, I think so. The cooking uh, are been posted the cooking recipes. So yeah, through that they can come, they can subscribe it because uh, as of now i am lacking behind for the subscribers and youtube have already uh, started putting their ad so i think so once you reach to 1000 then some benefits we will get and these benefits i don't want to keep it for me but i want to reach out to uh, the small as of now we are reaching out me and my husband but if we get anything from music channel or from this cooking channel we want to reach out to the, you know, the tribal area of uh, Northeast uh, or Manipur or wherever it is, Northeast Bay. For them, 500 rupees also is a big amount to go to school. The parents cannot afford. Mm -hmm. So as of now, we are having eight adopted children in Northeast. <laughs> so wow. yeah, yeah, just like for their education. And we want to reach out to more. But uh, so if this anything benefits, I will, we will get, we will just pass it on to them. This is amazing. So noble thoughts. So everyone watching, you know that if you are supporting Valerie, you are supporting a noble cause. So do subscribe her channel, do join her group because whatever they are doing is for helping the needy. And this is amazing that you have eight adopted children Awesome, awesome. <laughs> we are so honored to have you. You are, the, you are like the icon person of Saki. I, I didn't want it to mention because whatever you do, I, I believe, we believe, me and my husband, that what, when we do something, it's not to be told, but it just came out from my mouth because, uh, because this YouTube main channel, like cooking and this, these are like we thought, like if anything, like many people are getting benefited. I have not yet got anything. But if anything, then yes. Okay. So great to have you, Valerie. Thank you so much. And now it's time to wrap up our show. And we yes. love to have you. Thank you. Stay like the way you are. You're really thank honest. you so much to you both. And thank you. Yeah. And hope everyone watching this are enjoying this. And friends, the Saki members, all those who are interested to be part of the Saki talk show, please do reach out to the admin panel. Our motive is to help the women rise up, shine out, and show their talent. And we are giving you the platform to showcase this and have a discussion with us. So please do reach out to us if you want to be part of Saki talk show. Bye. Bye.